guys. Um, sorry about missing yesterday. I have actually been sick this past week, and I still sounded kind of a little bad yesterday, but I just wanted to upload today so I could actually talk, because for this video, I wanted to talk, not just show video clips of the concert I went to. Anyway, the concert I went to most recently was on the 26th, and, which was last Sunday, and it was Bury the Hatchet Tour with Survive This, Escape the Fate, and Following the Reverse. Who would have known those two bands would ever tour together? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who was surprised by it. And I'm turning on mic. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I am not the only one out there who was surprised by this tour. And it was the fact that it was Ronnie that ended the hate in the first place. I think no one would have expected. Even Ronnie said during the show, it was like, and give it up for, I thought I would never be saying this, Escape the Fate. And I think this makes it one of the best shows I've ever been to. Just due to the fact it's Escape the Fate and Falling Reverse. I mean, come on. I told myself last year, I would see Escape the Fate no matter what the next time they're near me. Because their tour last year was... Yeah, there was three Florida dates, but they were too far, so I couldn't go to them. And then finally, they come to Orlando, and it's just falling on the verse. And my, I'm mumbling my words together, but I don't care, because I'm trying to do this in one take. <laughs> and... So, yeah. Uh, I say survive this, escape the fame, and fall in reverse, because Chelsea Grin did not play that night. Um, for the longest time, I wondered, why isn't Chelsea Grin playing that show? Is the only show they're not playing this tour and it was really weird because they were on the lineup on the site to play at House of Blues and then I found out that day that they're not allowed to play at the House of Blues in Orlando because of their music and the fact that House of Blues is on Disney property. Um, honestly all I say is if they're not allowed to play there why were they included on the lineup on the site to, for tickets? Uh, that's all I gotta say. I mean, I love House of Blues. I love the people who work there. They're so nice. Uh, I meet a lot of great people there. I have always made a friend every time I've gone to the House of Blues. That was my fourth time. Security guard recognized me that day when I was in line. And House of Blues is a great place. And... Orlando. Um, it's better than when I went to UCF Arena. It's better when I, than when I saw Take It Back Sunday, where the security guards really did not care. They didn't do anything for the crowd. They just said they couldn't do anything until someone called 911. So it's just like, what? So, I mean, okay. Uh, Chelsea Grin most likely will come back in the future. They are going to be on Warp Tour, so most likely they are coming to Orlando again. So maybe I'll just go see them then. But it's just kind of a bummer I couldn't see them that night. You know? Instead of like running around Warp Tour trying to uh, see them too. Anyway, um, talk about the concert now. Um, Survive This played first. Obviously, because they were opening. And they're less well known than Escape the Fate and the Fallen Reverse. And people were debating, it's like, are sets gonna be extended tonight? Because usual concerts go till 11, but that's with four bands. So we didn't know what to expect that night. I think we're the only show of this tour that didn't know what we're gonna get. Um, Survivors played the, the usual amount of songs in opening band plays. Um, and then at one point, uh, the singer who does the screen parts for Survive This came down to the barricade, and here's a clip of that.
that. I stopped filming, obviously, and he, a few seconds after he got back down, he came to where I was at the barricade. I was really close to it, and he stood, obviously, on the platform by the barricade, and for once, for the first time ever, I was able to hold the singer's hand while they're at the barricade. Yes, I've met people after shows, but I have always wanted to be one of those people, lucky people who got to hold the singer's hand. And it was basically the only one holding the, his hand. Everyone else was holding like different parts of him. But then I was just the only one actually holding it. And then he obviously wanted to crowd surf, but nobody was actually pulling him back to crowd surf. It was obvious. It's like, he leaned forward to crowd surf and he's I'm holding him up and then I don't know what happened. I think we didn't get him up to go do it or security was holding him back. Too much happened too fast. I wish I got a picture of it. I wish I got a video of it. But you know what are you gonna do? It's just one of those moments you gotta be ready for it. And after they're set, he came down again to the barricade and went sh from one end of the barricade to the other end of the barricade and gave everyone high fives and uh, shake handshakes and that was so nice because I've never seen anyone do that so far. Um, Escape the Fate. They were the prime reason I went. Also due to the fact they were totally with Fallen Universe but I would have seen Escape the Fate no matter what. <laughs> um, they did I think play longer that night. They were only supposed to do seven songs, and as soon as I heard one song that wasn't on their set list that I looked up, um, I knew we were gonna get a extended set from Escape the Fate. Um, like, I'm trying to think on top of my head. Fire It Up wasn't on their original set list. Um, I think. P Picture Perfect wasn't on the original set list. I don't think Ashley was on the original set list. Um, I can't remember if Live Fast Die Beautiful was too, but all I know is we got a longer set than what I have originally seen. Um, at some point I had gotten out of the pit and because due to and I really got, I really can't say this. I was basically promised I was going to go backstage to meet Fallen Universe. And I'm not going to say who, and I'm not going to say from where, because it did seem official when it happened. But I knew something was up when the person said, oh, Fallen Universe is playing first. No, me and a girl that I met that night, Ansley, we were just like, what? Because Survive This is smaller and Falling Universe is the headliner. Headliners don't play first. And so I'm just like, eh. But then again, it's like, if I have this chance, oh well, I stay in the building. I, I, where I had to go, I still had to stay in the building. So it was like no big deal if I left the pit. And I did left the pit. I almost tripped going up the stairs because there's stairs right by the pit. And... I went over to the section I was supposed to go, then I noticed no one else, including Ansley, who was told they were going to meet Fallen Universe, was not there. I only stood there for about like two minutes, and when I saw it was like a minute past the time we are supposed to meet up, I said, that person is a liar. And screw him, screw that person, I am really trying to hide this, because I do not want to get hate. <laughs> And I just made my way back to the pit. And it took a long time to get back to the pit. Um, because there are just people who don't want to be part of the pit, but then they don't want you to get past them. It's, and this is why I get annoyed by some people. It's like there are people who want to be in that pit. Let them in the pit. It's all fine if you don't want to, but let us pass you. It just makes it better. It's like, hey, I want to be in the pit. Can you know, I get past you? I even did that for three people, and they would not let me pass them. It's just like, what the heck? I'm going to the pit. I was just in there. Now I'm trying to get back in. So I had to work from the from the back. I had to wait for a guy saying he wants to go in because he wants wanted to be part of the mosh pit. 
and I just followed him, and finally, I got back at the pit, and this is where I ended up. Yeah, the back of the pit. The pit's not that big in House of Blues compared to like other places, but it was like pretty far if you think about it. And while trying to get back in the pit, obviously, I filmed. Why? Because I was missing songs! I waited this long to see Escape the Fate and I was missing songs! <laughs> and then I, when I finally got back in the pit, it was the last song this war is ours. Craig says, uh, split this crowd up. And me and some people just look at it and they're like, holy shit, it's gonna be a wall of death. And there's only been one time I've been near a wall of death. And that was at Warp Tour last year. But here's the thing, I was at a great huge distance to not be affected by the wall of death. And I was really debating, how big will this wall of death be? Will it take up the entire pit? Will it only take up a small part of the pit? I have no idea. And I could feel us being pushed back. Me and these people are just like, holy shit, it's happening. And we're just like, I do not want to be part of that. It's like, we are people who are okay with being pushed around. We are okay with trying to crowd surf. But we will not take part in the mosh pit, a circle pit, or a wall of death. I will never be part of those. I know I can't handle them. I got for balance. So, I, yeah. I know I can't handle those things. And I'm not an idiot. At least I know what I walk into. But I'm not an idiot when it comes to one with that stuff. And then, here it goes. Oh, uh, the wall of death. <laughs> That's when, I, obviously, that's when I stopped filming because I saw my opening of Make My Way up back up to where I was before, and then it took a good minute, and then, yeah, I'm finally back up there where I originally was, but Escape the Fate is over. I feel like I wasted my time trying to see if I was really going to get backstage access to me following the verse, but you know what? What can I do? I just got to hope for the next time Escape the Fate comes here. And hope they're not too far and it's not a good day. <sighs> or just hope they're on Warp Tour. I mean, following a versus, so why not? I mean, they're good now. Why not? <laughs> okay. The day before the show, I worked my ass off to learn Bad Girls Club by following a verse. And if you know how fast that song is, you know exactly what I'm talking about of how much struggle I had to learn it. Um, it literally took me all day Saturday and my family was probably wondering what the hell was I doing in my room for so long. I mean, it's normal for me to be in my room for a long time, but this was basically all day. And I learned that song and one day worked my ass for it and I knew it. And I told people online, it's like, I know Bad Girls Club and Sign Language. And so, before Following a Verse came on, I asked these two guys I was talking to way before Survive This even played. It's like, hey, I know Bad Girls Club and Sign Language. When that song plays, is it possible can I get on your shoulders? It's like, yeah, sure. That didn't happen. Why? Because I got separated from them. And honestly, I should have known that was going to happen in the first place. No one stays in the same exact spot unless you're like front row because you don't move. And I ended meeting a girl in the pit. I don't know where her name was. Uh, we didn't exchange numbers. We were just two people that you talk to in the pit and make friends to survive. And at a lot of points when we felt like the crowd was getting way too rough because I knew falling over a crazy crowd, same with Escape the Fate. Like, that was... That's just basic common sense. The two screen bands, they're gonna have a tense crowds. We would literally just hold hands and be 
and that gave us some support. <laughs> and also during Survive This, we felt the floor like vibrate and we're just like, what the hell was that? That was my fourth time there and I've never felt that happen. And it's just like... <laughs> and also during the following of ours, there is this dick and I'm just calling him a dick for doing this. He started like thrashing around like he was going to be in a mosh pit. Trying to open his own pit. It's like, dude, there is a mosh pit directly behind us. Get back there. Or you're getting kicked out. And because the people that you're pushing around right now do not want to take part in that. Yes, we want to be close. But we do not want to take part in the mosh pit. There's a reason we're not in that mosh pit right now. You dick. We ended up, he was not stopping, and we're just, all of us just got to the point where we're pissed off, and we pushed him out, uh, to the side. And people gave us looks like, what the hell are you doing? And then they saw what the hell he was doing, and they pushed him, pushed him out. And we're just like, that's right, dick. If you want to be part of a mosh pit, get in the mosh pit. You do not open your own. It's like... And then he came back, we're just like, good, you're heading to the mosh pit. We knew who you were, and you're heading right there. Good! I seriously hate people sometimes, at concerts. Good thing there was no people complaining about being touched. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Pet peeves. If someone complains about being touched when you're in the pit, why the hell did you get in the pit? Expect it. You knew what you're getting yourself into. Don't complain about being touched. Just saying. And finally, the last song. Well, the last two songs. It was, um. Man, I really can't remember the song. Crap! But it was an old Escape the Fate song when Ronnie was part of Escape the Fate and then Situations. And it was just. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking love it. I never thought I'd get to see the day of this, but. I will play it for you right now. Everybody get off your feet! Jump! playing together and especially with Craig singing too it's just like feels too much feels <laughs> and then the same night I said okay I'm gonna try to crowd surf for the first time ever last year I actually planned to crowd surf but it never happened because it was way too close to even do it so I never bothered and that night there was some good distance there was people still getting up in front of me and 
crowd surfing. It's like, so why can I do it? So it was last song, Situations, and it took me three people to actually do it. Um, so I asked one person, like, hey, I want to go up. And they're like, what? I was like, whatever. And then I go to another person, like, hey, I want to go up. And they're just... <sighs> When a someone says they want to go up, it means they want to crowd surf. Like, uh, you're in the pot. Uh, just saying. And finally, this one guy is like, hey, I want to go up. And he's like, yeah, sure. So we do the whole thing. And there was a guy next to him, and he helped me up too. And I get up there. I get on, land on the people in front of me. And next thing you know, I'm falling to the ground and flip over and land on my back. You can pretty much say I am never going to try to crowd surf ever again. Unless I know that crowd is hacked tight. Because that, I'm just going to say, that fucking sucked. It didn't hurt, but it scared the crap out of me. And 